Oh. You engineer, can you believe it? You are that. <laughs> hey, um, Nick, could you please do me a favor? Uh, when you drum, stand here, do it. Otherwise, I will jump over the stage, hurt myself. <laughs> that would that be scary, you know, the, the noise come from my back. My back. Okay, um, you guys, can you tell? Can you tell, tell I'm not white? <laughs> and I'm not black either. <laughs> and um, yep, yeah, uh, I've been here for 27 years and I'm Chinese. And my friend, still science, told me, said, Helen, you've been here for so long, how come you still speak Chinglish? I said, I can't help, what can you do about it? <laughs> and uh, you know, English is such a hard word, hard language to learn and to speak. I've been here so long and I still don't get it. You know, my Aussie girlfriend, they really hate the word cunt. <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't mind. Because <laughs> I don't know what that means anyway. <laughs> but one, there's a couple words I really hate, I can't say. I, can't, I still couldn't pronounce it properly. Penis butter. <laughs> and the ve Vegemite. <laughs> well, I gotta be very careful. It's 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 on the record, okay? Um, so you know, in my early days when I was in school, and um, when I went to the canteen counter, ask for um, sandwich, and I would say, penis butter sandwich, please. <laughs> the guy at the counter gave me a really dirty look and he hand over me sausage roll. <laughs> he said, this is close enough. Enjoy. <laughs> so I didn't know why. How come they run out penis butter all the time? <laughs> so, you know, until many years later, I got married and I had my first sex, and I saw the hairy sausage. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, what is that? What do you call that? He said, it's called a penis. I fainted. <laughs> I wake up, I, w I wake up, and he said, what's up? And I said, uh, I had too many of them when I was in canteen. <laughs> so he fainted. <laughs> anyway, so um, elections coming up in two days. Last night, I woke up. Uh, last night, I decide I'm going to stand for election, Senate. Yes. yes. Yay! And um, but for the people you don't know me, and my name is Helen Hu, spell H U, pronounce Hu. I know Australian economy is suffering, so I decide my election slogan will be Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I was told I was told by my colleagues, my party colleagues, don't ask me which party I'm in, and said, Helen, you you take every single box of as a modern politician, but except the one. Which one? I'm not gay. So you know what? I, my election promise will be, I will make a, a gay marriage compulsory. <laughs> <laughs> Please vote for me, okay? <laughs> that will be on the Senate ballot paper on this Saturday. Yeah. Yes. Um, so Chinese, uh, we've been here for so many years since gold rush, but only until last uh, 20 something years, and the, the, the populations grow really high up. That was my fault because I told them, quick, come over here, and this is a great country, no dragon dad and, uh, and the tiger mom push you study. So that's why you see so many Chinese here. <laughs> so many, you know, many years ago, and when I would uh, walk down the street, and the people were yelling at me, say, bloody Chinese, go back to Asia. And now they don't say that anymore. You know why? Too many of us. <laughs> anyway, so um, 
people saying, uh, my colleagues keep saying that, you know, Helen, uh, your bloody Chinese making this, making that, making computer, making uh, mobile phones. And, uh, and I said, that's not true. We make a virus too. <laughs> and then we make an island too now. <laughs> and uh, we were, you know, my defense colleagues, we were discuss about that. So what's the biggest threat if uh, the war between Australia and the Chinese, China break out? And uh, they say, oh, the missile, this and that. I said, no. I said, the biggest threat is they cut off their supply line and uh, we will run out clothes. You guys will be naked sit here. <laughs> All right, you can you can do that in front of me. Dr. Helen, please welcome your next act, Mr. Andrew Bensley. <laughs>